Hey crocheters, welcome back to another secret vlog from my secret stash of vlogs or whatever on earth I'm calling these things. Um, quick note before we jump into the vlog. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can hear, but we're, there's some chirping in the background. We are fostering a chick trying to do some physical therapy with it. My 12 uh, year old brother-in-law hatched some a couple weeks ago and this one has uh, spraddle legs. So we've been trying to like keep it isolated from the others and uh, get it to where it can walk normal. It's making improvement, but yeah, we'll see. Anyway, that's, that is the chirping in the background. So in the vlog, I, so I started all of these vlogs with the dragon, trying to figure this out. And you guys have seen the versions, which have not improved, sadly. So version number one, attempt two with the head, and attempt three, which is probably, this is probably just gonna turn into a dinosaur, probably, at some point, yeah. So because I was struggling with these so much, I thought maybe I'll just try making a baby dinosaur first. So I'm not using as much yarn. I'm not, you know, it doesn't take me as long to progress through the design. I can just kind of, I can process it quicker and hopefully I can figure out how I want to, how I want it designed, you know, what is going to make me happy. Um, and so that is what I, I'm going to show you guys today. What I've been working on, um, is this, this baby dragon design. And so honestly, when I sat down and I made the head the first time, it, it all went together really well. So this is the, this is the head. Um, and I was, I was really pleased with it cause it just, it just worked. Like, I mean, yes, it wasn't like I started here and ended here and everything was perfect. Like, you know, I had to tear it out and try again a couple of times, but but like I have one head and I'm very happy with it versus having three heads for the big dragon and not liking any of them. So I'm pretty darn pleased. I do kind of feel like maybe I shouldn't have chosen red for this project just because it, it looks maybe a little bit demonic, a little bit, I don't know. And I, I don't know, the eyes also look a little bit angry. Like dragons are supposed to be kind of fierce, but mo like all of my animals kind of have like an open, like cuddly look and I am a little bit afraid that this one looks angry. Uh, I don't know. Might have to play around with that. I don't know. Or maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine to have like to have kind of a peeved looking dragon. Maybe I don't know. So I was super happy with this. I actually did this a couple weeks ago and um yeah. And so I've been working on the body. Which the body oh bodies are so hard for these things. Um, I mean, cause I didn't want to have like kind of a typical shaped body I've got like, you know, I, I didn't want just this teardrop shape body that I have for like the baby monkey. It works great for the baby monkey, but it's not, whoop, it's not the shape I was wanting for the dragon. I, you know, I want it to be different. I want it to be serpentine. I want it to feel, feel like it's moving. So let me see. Let me, let me show you guys my sketch of what I want this to look like, because for me, it is kind of important to be able to do sketches because if I, um, don't really have an idea of what I'm working toward, it makes it just super difficult. Like, yeah, it makes it really difficult. So let's see if you guys can see that. So that's my little dragon sketch. This one I want to be, um, you know, sitting up the big dragon. I want to be laying down <clears throat> this little one. I want to be sitting up and I'm, I'm contemplating on the tail. You can see I've got two like versions here, one where it kind of goes up and one where it just lays down. Um, <clears throat> so I'm, I'm thinking about that. So I've been working actually quite a lot and I've torn out a lot, um, which you're not going to really be able to see because I've been using the yarn that I've been tearing out to make other parts of the body. So, you know, um, but my first version of the body was this one. It was a lot longer. As I said, I've been tearing it out and using it for other pieces. Um, the idea being that you would 
you know, the head would sit something like this on the body. Um, and I didn't, things I didn't like about, like I liked the general shape of what I was going for, um, but it wasn't backing up. My ideal, which I have never been able to reach my ideal, maybe someday I will, maybe I won't, maybe my ideal is ridiculous. Um, but I was really hoping that I'd be able to start at the neck and at the tail, like have one continuous piece and it would just work and be awesome. Um, but turning corners is so hard, especially if you're trying to do like, <clears throat> here my sketch, you know, trying to turn this like long, slow kind of a, a corner it just it just was not working I tried a lot of different things and it just I couldn't get it to work so I've decided that I'm not going to try and go for a continuous neck to tail I'm going to do neck down to the bottom of the body and we're gonna have to attach the tail later which kind of stinks but I think it's gonna work so yeah so also problems with this, it this, like the body was just a little bit too wide. The neck was a little too wide. It was just proportionally, I wanted the head bigger compared to the rest of the body. And so the, this is my second attempt at the body, which I mean, it looks a little bit, now that I'm holding it up, <laughs> it looks kind of feminine, uh, not, not intentional. Um, and actually on this one, I even, I like tucked in the top row because I was like, oh man, I made the neck too long. I'm, I'm going to have to make another one of these for the actual pattern. Um, cause I'm still just learning and trying to figure it all out. Um, so I'll just, you know, remove that row in the pattern. Um, but so the head will sit on it like, like that. So we get kind of that sitting up proportion. Um, and then here on the back, I, I have this kind of slope right here because I want the tail to be pretty, pretty wide actually, and, and fit just right on here and then kind of come off and do the curving. Um, and I'm thinking that maybe I'll make the tail, oh, it's, it's kind of difficult to explain, but you know, but have that curve. Um, but then you could place it however you wanted on the body. You could place it so it was lying down and it like maybe curved a little bit around the body. You could twist it so it was up and it was, you know, it kind of had that look to it. Um, so that it could give some flexibility, which I think is kind of a fun idea. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I, I finished this last night, um, kind of late and, 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 and I, I am, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to have to see once I get the rest of the pieces kind of put together, um, whether it's really what I want or not. Um, you know, because as, as I work through the rest of it, the design will, will kind of develop and I'll know what things I need to tweak going forward. Um, the other thing I did make, and I'm going to actually take a second here and try to like attach just with some crochet hooks, just kind of pin the body onto the head so I can show you guys the wing and it will hopefully make sense. Cause the thing is I don't have three arms, three hands to be holding all of this together. So I'm going to do this really quick. Um, dun, 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 dun. It's not going to be perfect, but hopefully it'll kind of convey the idea. So you guys can tell what I'm going for. Um, sorry, this is really bad TV. I'll get there. Okay. So caught in my cords. Okay. Like, like I said, this is not exactly perfect, but it'll look something like that. The head won't be ski wampus though. Um, and then last night I also figured out, I think the, a, a wing. Um, so then it'll look something like this. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's too big. Maybe it's fine. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's too big. We'll see. 
I mean, it'll probably be attached more like this, kind of open. That way I've got room to, um, let me take another thing and attach this so I can talk. Um, okay, so let's just assume it's going to be attached something like that. <laughs> um, that way that way I would have like room to, to do arms here um, and then like legs down here and tail back here, you know, like obviously this is rough. It's coming together slowly. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the progress I'm making. I'm, I'm really glad that I was able to kind of figure out the shape of the wing because this is definitely one of the design challenges I've been struggling with. Um, I, I don't know that this is necessarily like the final version of, of the wing. Um, We'll see. We'll see once I attach it and see if I really like, if I really like it or not. So anyway, so yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> I feel like once again, which seems to be a theme it, for me at this stage of my life, me just being like, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing, but I like this kind of feels right. So I'm just going to go for it. And that's basically where we are. Um, I am considering um, I'm considering making like a belly plate to go like an orange belly plate to, to go over this, uh, part of the tummy so that you get those like contrasting, like it's, it's pretty typical for, um, like in drawings of dragons for them to have, I'm sure it's not called a belly plate, but that's what I'm calling it. Uh, you know, to have, to have a contrasting color here over the stomach. Um, which that's another thing I did do originally is I started, um, I, I just worked it into the color changes. So I had like color change rows going through it. And, and the thing that really bugged me about it, I'm going to pull up an example here. Um, so I've got an example here on the baby penguin. Um, color changes are just, they're not perfectly clean. You get sort of these like remnants of colors color changes on on either side and for some reason it was really really bugging me on this dragon and so I was just like no we're not doing that if I need to go ahead and like make a secondary plate I'll do that and we'll sew it on later so that's something I'm considering um, the reason I wouldn't do it would be because first off I'm really bad at anything that's not worked in rounds when it comes to crocheting like it's why I don't make blankets because mm, they're really bad um, so I don't know that I could do a really good job uh, with it. Um, and the other thing is, is that it might be too much orange. Like if I have this, like, like these are bright colors, obviously you can see how saturated this is here on my screen. Um, but like, if I have this bold orange statement in these wings on either side, and then I've got like also this really bold orange here, like it, it might just be too much orange. There's like not a good balance. So that's, um, that's kind of what is on my mind as far as the baby dragon goes. Um, I, yeah, this is where it is. My, my hope my overall hope, overarching hope for this is that as I work on this, I'll be able to figure out on a smaller scale, the, the components, the methods, the, I don't know, the process, what I need to figure out so I can make the big dragon and be happy with it. So that is where we are. And that is what we're going to call it for today. So thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for the next video.